Hello, Azumi here, and I'm going to do Super Melody of Pride, S2 Solo. So, my tank is going to be Ulin. Alright. Next is going to be Forseti, just because she is... I'm so happy I got her, and she hits like a truck. Um, third is going to be Clam Girl. For survivability, a little bit of support there. Um, fourth is Bugmaster Keely Awakened. I love her costume. And lastly is going to be Bubble Blaster. So here we go with her equipment. And let's go with the fight. Melody of Pride, of course, starring Frigg. So, we have Awakened Frigg, who is in the Magic Row, is Aesir, and considered to be Airborne. Her action skill, Fatal Decision, does attack and magic attack 25% up for 3 turns to all of your heroes. Also does 150% water magic attack damage and defense and magic defense 25% down for three turns to all enemies. Her auto skill does water magic attack damage and vortex for three turns to all enemies in the connect battle. Vortex applies only to airborne enemies. On S1 she has aqua field, on S2 she has high aqua field. Uh, the most effective elements here are going to be, of course, Earth and Dark, because you're going to need those to get rid of the crystals. And that can really help you out a lot. So, moving on to the crystals. The water crystals are in the magic row. And they their skill is water magic attack damage and water wound for three turns to three nearest enemies. And they do slow for three turns to three random enemies. Slow and water wound apply to all races. Next is going to be the light crystals which are in the range row and those are force crystals. They do light attack damage and holy chain for three turns to three nearest enemies and skill gauge 10% up to frig. Holy Chain applies only to humans, elves, and therians. On S2, they also do light attack damage to the three nearest enemies and another skill gauge 10% up to Frigg. Now, uh, for the most part, the way that my strategy works on this is I kind of ignore the light crystals kind of period and I just crush the water crystals to get rid of the slow and then I just worry about killing Frigg so uh, some people might not agree with that strategy and it might take longer than s some other people's strategies but it, it, it works as you can see um, I like to use the limit break this one right here the healing limit break just because it kind of helps out a little bit and moving on from that, some of the other heroes you can use are going to be the new one, Poetry God Braggy, uh, Boar God Kubira, Floral Girl, Flower Girl Flora, um, the new Sif, who I really want, Burgomir, um, both Hellblindies, um, Blodu, Lumiere could help depending on where you got her positioned. Um, Camille and Poel and there might be a few others but pretty much if you need a healer Balder is going to be your best bet and really I, I find the, the fight is kind of it, it's a little bit tough and um, I'm trying out some new editing here, uh, particularly video and sound editing. So hopefully the sound sounds good and hopefully the video picture 
quality is a little bit better than it usually is. And let me know in the comments what you think about it. So, the fight's about over here. Oh no, she died. Oh well. Rip Keely at the end. Alright. Damage time. And there we go. And thank you for watching.